So first we lay down what you call liquid white. Liquid white is basically like primer. Primer, it takes in, you know, allows you to, the other paints to stick onto it very well. So we lay it down across the whole canvas in uh, X-like strokes back and forth. Get it all smooth. Next what we do is we start with a dark blue uh, in the corners uh, and you lighten it up towards the middle because what I'm going to do is create uh, water. And so from the corners it kind of gives a vignette of everything. It reflects very well with the sky also. So you vignette the corners and the same thing you're going to do is vignette the skies and bring it down. My sky I want lighter at the top as you can see so I can start as dark. I'm bringing it towards the middle because I'm, what I'm going to do is put a horizon right there. So get it real smooth, real nice. And it's all your discretion, so this is the kind of sky I want to do. But that's turpentine, paint pen, basically. So now I create my sunset. Then I'm bringing my colors from the sunset to spread it out. Um, give it kind of like, it's like a little fading situation, but uh, you do it to your discretion. Like I said, a little piece of the water here, there, just kind of even it out. And the hardest yellow part in the middle my um, place right where my sun drops. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to, right after I'm done with this, sorry guys, I'm talking to my mother. <laughs> so what I'm about to do is now lay down my horizon area, but it's kind of like where the mountains are going to start. And I'm using what you call a knife tool. Uh, I actually have the Bob Ross knife, uh, knife tool I'm using right there. Shout out to our boy uh, Ross with the happy trees. So now I'm drawing out my mountains. Get them right where they need to be, filling them in with the knife. Uh, it's like a mix between blue, like black and a little bit of gray. And it falls right down that horizon. I'm drawing it out on the other side. The knife tool is really good for stuff like this. You can kind of scrape it out, put it how you want, draw it, fill it in, put a little, you know, extra uh, oil on it to give it some type of texture. Let's have this shape it kind of random because nature is very random. Very random. Next, I'm putting in what you call a sky. I'm using a fan brush. And a fan brush creates little skies. It's also really good for trees. There's my mom on the phone again. She's really excited about this paint that she wants it in her collection, but I don't know. <laughs> so I'm putting these, using a fan brush, creating little strokes, kind of sideways, where, uh, where you can see my clouds. And just remember with a paint guy, you start from the furthest back. The furthest thing is the sky, then you build up closer and closer and closer. Uh, you know, I could have did clouds right before the mountains either way, it's pretty close. And make it random, very random. I'm using like a number two brush right there just to uh, create like different dimensions in the sky. Now some clouds are puffy, so use a two brush. Then I go back to the fan brush, create, you know, little strokes for. Uh, Kind of like uh, get the name, stratus clouds, I guess. As you can see, gray popped in there. So what I did is number two brush and put in like little uh, runs of gray, which kind of helped create all my dimensions in the sky. It gives me just more depth of feel to it. Again, sorry about the phone. <laughs> just blending and popping them in. And Tap in here, there, fade in. The good thing about oil is that if you make mistakes, you can just cover it right back up and, and go back right at it. As you can see, the sky is coming together. Just blend it a little more. Thicker parts of gray. Now what I'm doing is adding in more color to it. I want to pop in a little pink to give the skies, you know, 
it's, it's up to you. You can put, you know, whatever color. You can put more orange, you can put more red, uh, whatever color you want the sky to get the mood. So I'm dropping that pink in here, there, and the other. And I'm hitting it from the bottom because it's like almost like a, a reflection from the sun, which is coming underneath the clouds in this particular picture. So. Now I'm going to draw my water lines. Uh, again, dimension, uh, three dimensional. These lines are done with a knife tool. They kind of have a little, um, I put a little bit on the edge of it, scrape it with the edge of the knife, and then kind of pop it on as little texture pieces. So here we go. Now I'm laying down like my little marsh land or my rocks, marsh, or whatever. Uh, just just an idea that I had. It's like random thick chunks of it. Oh, there you go. Like I said, I want to get a little reflection of what's coming down from the sky, the pink into the water. It just helps with blending and it, you know, definitely shows reflection. That's exactly what you're seeing right here. Now back to the little uh, marsh. Again, with a painting, take your time. I mean, as you see, you have to take your time with every little piece of it. Uh, draw each little one, get it just where you want, and uh, lay it out. random and on the edges, corners, and the darker get a little thicker and thicker. I added some darker clouds right there just for more texture to it and, and kind of, I call it like a little contrast to it, dropping darker spots kind of reflecting the sky. Now I got real funny, yep, thought I was going to do that, but didn't quite do that one. I made a smaller boat, a little sailboat. And think perspective, guys. You gotta think I want you know to show the picture. You know how how wide and big this picture is. I draw a very small boat in the corner that goes above the horizon a little bit. Uh, but, but yet, draw. So use a knife tool and create the whole thing. The bottom of the boat. And after that, you have to do like water lines right underneath it to make it good. I'm running around for some reason. Especially when it's getting dark out there. I apologize about the dimming of the light. Just about done with this one. I can say, guys, to your discretion, the colors you want to use, but hey, there you go.